answers and comfort across Sussex County continues after last night's deadly tornado. The National Weather Service is conducting a storm survey in the Bridgeville area, as you can see from this video from Chopper 16. We certainly have plenty of evidence to sort through. We're still waiting to hear the exact EF rating of that tornado. We were told that the National Weather Service would be coming out with that sometime today. They tell us that the crew that was on the ground in Delaware is on their way back to the National Weather Service office in Philadelphia. Weather Service saying the last deadly tornado in Delaware was about 40 years ago on July 21st, 1983. And to see the damage from the air gives you a unique vantage point of just how destructive the tornado was. Chopper 16 shows us some of the hardest hit areas. One of the most difficult scenes to view after Saturday's tornado is this home on Tucker's Road. It's where we learned one person died. You can see not just the home, but much of the property, including trees and outbuildings, were leveled. This neighborhood also experiencing significant damage. We know just how random tornadoes can be with their rage. Look at that house on the left of the road, completely untouched. And just across the street, there is nothing left of a neighbor's home. Further south in Bridgeville, this Dell Dot facility sustained serious damage. Officials saying it'll cost around $5 million to repair. Sussex County's agricultural community also felt the tornado's wrath. This irrigation system was overturned with its wheels now up in the air. And a poultry farm saw significant damage. But you can see just how random the storm was with its fury. Some of the chicken houses were flattened, others mostly unscathed. All throughout the storm path, signs of the tornado's destruction as the long road to rebuilding begins. The tornado also left a trail of destruction in the town of Ellendale. Teams of community members were outside helping one another today. Crews working to restore power as quickly as possible. As WBOC's Lauren Miller reports, everyone says they're glad no one there was seriously hurt. It's not hard to see the tornado's wrath in Ellendale. Debris is everywhere, trees swarm cars, homes and garages are destroyed. And some don't know when cleanup will begin. That's going to start when uh, they get their, whoever they have out here, because it's all their debris. And we're just leaving it sit there for right now so they can actually see what actually happened and where it went. Neighbors join forces to chop up trees. Wow. It, it, you know, hit my hometown and all. I was like, so I called my boss up this morning. Hey, man, can I borrow the bucket truck? And I sent him the picture of the tree behind us and everything. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. Just come up to the shop. And I grabbed it and came back here. And I was like, all right, let's just get to it, man. Like, you don't know how many people's families and stuff are in here. You don't know who's in here. Others helped patch up holes. Finding the holes and, and put they put tarp over the um, the hole in the, uh, in the roof. Um and so we've just been walking around trying to get a look at, you know, what, what's been done. And despite all the damage, there's a big sigh of relief that no one was hurt. Everybody in the community here just came together and just to see if everybody was all right. They know I have a disabled wife and they stopped and checked on me. And, um, you know, we're, we'll come together. We're, we're in lower slower Delaware, but we'll put it back together again. A small Sussex County town coming together to overcome tragedy. That was WBOC's Lauren Miller reporting. The town of Ellendale is asking the community to document any damage to properties. That information will be shared with Delaware's Emergency Management Agency. Well, in one of the hardest hit areas, Greenwood, it was a day of cleanup. The Sussex Tech basketball, excuse me, baseball team spent hours clearing debris and cutting tree limbs down. One man, Ken Adams, donated his company's trucks to help dispose of that debris. The sense of community was evident. We spoke with some neighbors who were grateful that total strangers stepped in to help out. I really appreciate it and thankful that they're here. They're nice people, willing to help with anything. I mean, they're hard at it. There's no stopping. They're not talk, standing around talking. They're working hard, and we really appreciate it. The National Weather Service estimates some three dozen homes were damaged across Sussex County. Further south in Bridgeville, there were widespread cleanup efforts and volunteers helping those who pitched in. The day started with about 150 volunteers heading out at 7.30 in the morning. It wasn't just the chainsaws and trucks that were out to help at the frozen farmer. 
donated food was handed out to volunteers, first responders, and anyone else who needed a meal. The CEO of BB Healthcare was even doing door-to-door -door, uh, to make sure that medical needs were met. And Governor John Carney was joined by Lieutenant Governor Bethany Hall Long, along with a number of other state and local officials, as they surveyed the damage throughout Bridgeville and Greenwood today. The Red Cross provided temporary shelters for some people who were displaced last night. Uh, government officials now working to evaluate whether they need to step in to provide more long-term temporary shelter. The governor also toured a DELDOT facility, as you see there, that suffered serious damage. Officials estimating that it will cost about $5 million to repair that facility. Governor Carney says the tornado that hit Laurel a few years ago led to a tornado relief fund being created, which remains in place today. As a result uh, of that the tornado that struck down or that storm that went through there, we, we created some uh, a fund that would help uh, uh, the residents affected. And uh, so fortunately, we have that in place for, for this event. This afternoon, President Joe Biden released a statement saying that he spoke with Governor Carney. The president pledged that his administration will do everything it can to help for as long as it takes. An update now on the severe